What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys another high school story. I believe it's episode 12. And today I'm going to be talking about the fire at my school. Um, it wasn't a big fire, so it's not really going to... Uh, uh, um, it's not... Like, I still go to school. It was a couple days ago. and uh, It was a very small kitchen fire. But um, anyway, so... <clears throat> We had a fire actually yesterday, the day I'm, er, yeah, yesterday, because I'm recording this the same day it's going up. Um, we had a fire yesterday at school, and it was just a small fire. Um, and originally, the, uh, like, we're sitting in lunch, uh, me with my table, which is Bobby, Dwayne, Eric, Shamar, Pat, and Phil. And we were all sitting there. Uh, I think Shamar and Eric weren't there, and we were uh, wrapping up lunch. Phil just sat down with his lunch, and uh, it's about 12.45 when Phil sits down for his lunch. Our period's over at 12.54, so about four minutes goes by. No, it was, so it was like it was like 12.47 probably, and about four or two or three minutes goes by, and Phil's kind of just sitting there talking, taking his time eating because he doesn't want to rush. And then out of nowhere, we hear just a loud like screeching, and it's it sounds like um I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. It sounds like a fire alarm. Um, and then we hear like the loud duck sounding one too, because they have two of them in our cafeteria. Um, and we're like fire drill or what? And um, like we were all trying to figure out what was going on. Finally, I saw the thing blinking. I was like, "There's a the a fire alarm's going off," and they're like, "Oh, okay." So Phil literally picks up his plate, brings his stromboli and his fries outside, and is eating his food outside while we're walking. Everybody's like freaking out, like, is this real? Is this a drill? It's real, but is this real? Is this a drill? Is this real? Is it a drill? Everybody's looking at me for answers, looking at my friend Jack for answers, um, trying to figure out who, like, everybody in my homeroom came up to me at least once and said, is this real or is this a drill? Do you know? I was like, I know nothing. So, um, anyway, I figured out that it was a drill or it was real once uh, we got outside and I heard one of the fire company's whistles going off. I was like, either that's a coincidence or this is real. And then I heard fire company number 37 coming up. Their, I heard their engine coming up the street and I was like, this is real, guys. And they're like, they're like all panicking. Um, I'm like, nah, it's not, it can't be that bad. It's probably either just tripped or just like a small kitchen fire. I was right, it was a kitchen fire. Um, but originally all my friends were screaming that it was fake and that everybody needed to calm down, but no. Nah. I knew it wasn't that big. Um, the rumor, it, I, I don't even know if it was a kitchen fire. There's three rumors going around. There's one that a girl's chair pulled it down. And we, have, I, I think I've said it a couple times in videos that there's a another... Uh, we have a lot of exchange students from China and Korea, and um, there's a, there's one rumor that uh, they the freshman Chinese the freshman convinced the freshman Chinese kid to pull it because he didn't know what it was, and then the, the third rumor is that there was a small kitchen fire, but uh, I don't know which one is true. Um, I heard the president talking about all three, um, so I'm not sure. But if it was a kitchen fire, they got it out fast. Um, but if you guys don't know what happens, it's, what it is is um, when you pull a fire alarm, it actually like when it goes, it automatically goes to your dispatcher, and for us, it's the county. So it goes, it went right toward the dispatcher, and it actually pops up on a grid. Like there's, a, I forget where the grid is. I forget if they have it in the station. Yeah, they have it in the county thing for us, the county the dispatch center. And that's what I'm going to call it, because I don't know what it's actually called. Um, but anyway, they it pops up like on a grid, I guess, where the fire alarm was pulled from, or where is it going off from. And I actually didn't know where it was going off from, so that usually means there's something faulty with our system. But or that could mean there's something faulty with our system, or it could mean that's just the way our system was built. So um, it said unknown pool station and stuff like that. So anyway. Uh, we're standing outside, and for drill or for fires, we just go on the turf. And um, so we live in a in a or our our school is in a town of five paid or four paid four paid. Oh my God, I cannot say these words. 
four paid half four half paid fire companies there we go half paid so that means they have one truck that's paid um, and then there's one full volunteer company so 20 is the full volunteer company they were the first ones or 37 was the first ones there then it was 26 and then 20 um, and I think did I I don't know if I said 37 I think uh, whatever it is it's 30 it was 20 26 and 36 that were there uh, I know you guys don't know who these are but that's just like the numbers uh, just so you guys know 20 has a ladder I think 36 has a rescue and 26 is just all engine I'm pretty sure um, so we had a ladder and two engines there um, they got there pretty fast it was, it was probably within three minutes of me getting out of the building which was probably about a minute in itself so it was probably about a four minute response time for them which is really good um, four minute response is just like I don't really know how to explain it. Four, a four minute response is really good because um, what it usually is is for, like especially for my company it's usually about two minutes till we get till we can confirm two and a half minutes till we can confirm sometimes we even have to get a double tap or triple tap which is after three minutes. Confirm means you have a driver and pack guys for the back. Uh, I'll go into all these terms in another video because I think that would be a fun video to make. But anyway, um, and then we usually take, if it's in our town, it takes like a, a minute or two to get there. But if it's not in our town, it takes like th uh, anywhere between three and seven minutes. And sometimes you get reduced speed, which means you can't go lights and sirens, which in that case means you have to follow traffic laws. So, if you guys don't know, emergency vehicles can only go 20, 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. So, anyway, guys, comment, like, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be asking for love. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.